Hello everyone, welcome to LICD lecture 4B. Today we are going to implement a linear equation using OPAM. So let us begin with the topic. So we need to implement the following linear equation using OPAM. So the equation is V out is equal to 3V1 plus 5V2 minus V3. So the first impression is please don't panic by looking at this expression. So we will use whatever we have learned so far from the inverting adder topic. So let us begin with a solution. So let me write over your solution. Okay. So let's let's break it down into two parts. So in the first part, we will be implementing the first two terms of the equation. That is, uh, so we'll break it down into first part. So we will implement. We will implement the first two terms of the equation. So we'll do that first and then we will consider evaluating the entire expression again. So implementing the first two terms means that is 3 times V1 and 5 times V2. So we need to evaluate this. Uh, so do we have any familiar, you know, OPAM circuit which can add the two terms together? Yes, we have studied that in the last lecture. So let's try building that circuit. So we have an OPAM. Basically, we'll be building an inverting adder. So you, this non-inverting terminal will go to ground. That's my output measured with respect to ground. And uh, here I have two inputs, uh, V1 and V2. So I will make it like this. So here is my second input. And this register goes to the output terminal. So this is termed as RF. This is termed as R, let's say this is R1. This is R2. Okay. And this will be our V1 and this will be our V2. So we can realize the above expression using the inverting adder. Okay, so let me write the expression over here. Let me call this as V out dash because uh, it is not the final output. The final output is in terms of V out. So let us see how, what is the output expression of this. So again, let me change the color. Okay, so the output expression of inverting adder is given by minus rf upon r1 into v1 plus rf upon r1 into v2 okay so basically that's what we need to do here we want here we want rf upon r1 as 3 and we want 5 times v2 so rf upon uh, R2 actually it is. So let me just go back and change this to R2. Sorry for the error. Okay. So this is basically R2. RF upon R2. So basically this has to be this has to be 5 as per our requirement. So then V out will V out dash will look something like this. Let me rewrite V out dash. So V out dash will be minus 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 doesn't matter we will take care about the minus sign uh, don't worry so now let us see how to design that r1 rf and r2 registers so basically let us say that let's assume that uh, rf is equal to r okay so let us assume that rf is equal to r now uh, how do we select the value of r1 so rf upon r1 r1 has to be 3 so what can we say what will be r1 over here if rf is r so it will be r upon r1 is equal to 3 so how much will be my r1 so r1 will be equal to r upon 3 
so that's the design step which which we need to follow so basically we will do that a little later right now we are just equating it to a value of variable as r so r can be 1k 10k 20k whatever as per your requirement we will select similarly similarly what do we want is we want rf upon r2 is equal to 5 so what can we write over here r upon r2 is equal to 5 that means r2 is equal to r divided by 5 so whatever is the value of r r2 will be divided by 5 okay now uh, so after doing this we have finally got you know we will finally get an equation which is in the form as follows so v out dash will become after we substitute this it will look like minus 3 times oh sorry uh, minus 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 the whole bracket so this is the expression which we are getting at the output of this opam over here this output expression v out v out dash is equal to minus 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 how do we do that we substitute rf is equal to r r2 is equal to r by 5 and we substitute r1 is equal to r by 3 so by doing this uh, we have got the equation uh, the first two expressions of this v out expression is uh, already completed but we have to take care about the minus sign that we will take care so do not worry we have halfway through so the first number first step is complete now what we need to do is we need to handle that minus sign which we have over here so right now v out dash is minus of 3 v1 plus 5 v2 so you have to somehow make it positive and also we need to subtract v3 so basically what is the idea is so we need might have to connect this to another inverting adder so let me just show you all that again let me just change the color of my pen again to black so maybe this circuit over here the output of this maybe you need to connect it to one more inverting adder so let's say the inverting adder is somewhere around here with another input like this and this goes together and here i have my opam with a plus and a minus sign let me just draw it properly oh sorry so minus plus this plus sign will go to the ground non-inverting input and here we have the feedback register so this is coming from this output is coming from this opam and this is my v3 and let's say this is my r3 let us name this resistor as uh, you know r4 it doesn't matter and this as resistor as r5 so uh, we are expecting that the output of this opam is somewhat like this so the output of this opam is given by v out is equal to we are expecting this to happen v3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 minus v3 so we are expected output is as follows we are implementing this equation so let us trace back whether we can do that or not okay so the expression over here at this point right now the status is something like this here we have minus 3 times v1 and minus 5 times v2 so that's the expression which we have it over here let me just erase the you know yeah so this is the expression which we have it over here so right and this is feed it to r4 register r3 we have another input connected that is v and uh, at the output side and the uh, you know feedback register is termed as r5 so let me just write this expression of v out in terms of inverting adder again so second this is my second in second adder so this is my second stage this was my first stage basically so i have cascaded two inverting adders simultaneously now let us see whether we get the result or no so let me write the expression in terms of this so v out 
is equal to minus. So what do we have over here? Uh, V3 times uh, R R5 upon R3 into V3. So we can write R5 upon R3 into V3 plus we have R5 upon R4 into V out dash. So we can write over here R5 upon R4 into we have this expression V out dash. So that's what we want. So basically V out dash is nothing but your uh, let me just add one more color over here. Yeah. So V out dash is nothing but this expression that is minus 3 times V1 minus 5 times V2. So basically we have to multiply this expression by minus 1. So uh, we want we want to get make basically what we want is we want to make this gain this r5 upon r4 as 1 then a purpose will be solved also since in the final expression we want only v3 so v3 no weight is at no weight is attached to v3 so v3 we also have to make this register r5 upon r3 also as equal to 1 so if we do that then uh, you know we can successfully complete our analysis so let us see that how we can do that okay so let me again change the color to black so we can say let's assume r5 is equal to r okay so let's say my r5 is equal to r now if i want to make r5 upon r3 as 1. So what can we write? We can write R5 is equal to R3 is equal to R so that we can easily you know relate it. Similarly we can also write that uh, since we want to make R5 upon R4 as 1 so in order to make R5 upon R4 is equal to 1 we can say that R5 is equal to R4 is equal to R okay so if we do that then we have the final expression so how it will look like let, let, let us substitute so from this equation over here we will rewrite it again now here okay so let me do that with a different color let me use a green color okay so we can write v out is equal to minus of v3 i think i should change a different color because this green color is not that much visible okay okay let me use a bright color let's for say example this pink so i can write now v out is equal to v out is equal to i can write minus of bracket you write this is one and this is also one and this is v out dash so let me just write here minus of this will be v3 so that will be v3 and you have plus v out dash and what was v out dash we will expand it over here minus v3 plus v out dash was minus 3 v1 minus 3 v bracket close so if we open this up we get the person as desired so v out is equal to 3 times v1 plus oh this is a mistake over here this is 5 let me just change it again this is 5 times v2 let us check that okay uh, 5 times v2 let us check that if it is 5 times v2 Yes, so V out dash is 3 times V1 minus 5 times V2. That's absolutely correct. Now let us go down and check whether we have got the expression. Yeah, so let us continue writing this. And so what we will get? V out is equal to 3 times V1 plus 5 times V2. Oh, sorry. 5 times V2 minus V3. Isn't this the equation which we are looking for? Yes. Yes, that's exactly the expression what we want. 
let us go back to our numerical yeah so this was the expression we desired v out is equal to 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 minus v3 and aren't we getting this yes so let us check yeah so v out is equal to 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 minus v3 and which circuit is achieving this so we have cascaded two we have cascaded over here two inverting adders to make that possible so the output of first inverting adder was v out dash v1 plus 5 times v2 minus v3 so now let's all together so that's our goal achieved now what we will do is we will make this circuit again okay so i have fast forwarded the video and the made the final circuit with all the values okay so now let us write these values onto the circuit so initially we will go back and see what were the values for uh, we have to assume the values now properly so that we can fit in this okay so we have considered this so far so r was actually we have to define rf rf we have considered to be r let us say that let's assume rf is equal to r which is equal to 15 kilo ohm so this rf is around 15 kilo ohm what was the value of uh, v1 uh, r1 basically so r1 we can check it out we have seen earlier so r1 was r by 3 and r2 was r by 5 so basically we can write over here r1 was r by let me write over here r1 was r by 3 and r2 was r by 5 so uh, 15 15 kilo ohm divided by 3 uh, we will have a uh, 5 kilo ohm over resistor over here so r1 is 5 kilo ohm and 15 kilo ohm divided by 5 will be 3 kilo ohm okay now let's go to this is the first stage design and the second stage we have to design r3 and r4 let us see what were the values of r3 and r4 okay so r5 was equal to r3 is equal to r and r5 was equal to r4 is equal to r so whatever is the value of r same value we have to give it over here so r4 is 15 kilo ohms r3 is 15 kilo ohm and r5 is also 15 kilo ohm so that's it all the registers in the circuit are defined that's the way to define implement a linear equation using opam so now finally we can write the output expression once more so this circuit over here which we have implemented using two inverting adders gives us the output as 3 times v1 plus 5 times v2 minus v3 so this implementation of a linear equation is also possible using opams okay so this was the design circuit with all the values obviously we have not shown the power supply connections but they are present so let me draw it once so this is vcc this is vee this will be vcc again and this will be vee so if it is not drawn it's understood it's present so this was the design of uh, linear equation implementation using opam so that's it for this lecture. Next time we'll see another topic, another application and build up a circuit using OPAM. So we have completed today implementation of a linear equation using OPAM. So that's it for today. Until next time, have a good day.